I just make what I feel like on the day. Just trying something different, see whether it will sell. Horn spoons, horn whistles, scoops, uh, beakers, belt buckles, key rings, hair slides. I've got a favourite thing. Well, there's a hole in the end there, you drill a hole down and you put a bit of doweling in with uh, a slight bit cut off the top of the doweling so it's not quite round. Then you have a groove cut in, one straight and one sloped. Well it's man's first plastic. Nearly anything you can make in plastic, you can make in horn if you could get big enough a sheet. And beauty about horn, when you finish with it, you can chuck it away, rot away and it'll go back into the ground. It's hard, but it feels very soft and silky. And the colour what's in the horn is unbelievable. The main colours are black and brown, but occasionally you get an unusual colour. I've only ever seen one pink one. Come on, don't play me up, you son. It's not going to work. Come on. This is a rabbit deep in thought. As a cow finds some food what it really likes. It's an angry cat. That's a happy cat. And there's a horse looking mischievous. And there's a young one thinking about eating some carrots. There's one having a good run. And there's one jumping over some rocks. Well, I'll give you that bit while I remember. Thank you. And uh, I've done a few more, so you can sort through them which you want and which you don't want. Brilliant. Some lovely colours there. Beautiful colours. And uh, you know about washing it, do you? No, no, you better. Well, no, just wash it in lukewarm water. Yeah. Don't chuck it in the dishwasher. Don't put it in the machine. Thank you very much. Right, thanks very much. Greatly appreciated. Here, take over. Okay. Take over. Just sort of. Live quite a quiet sort of normal life, really. I don't need all this excitement, what everybody seems to need. I followed whatever come away, really. <laughs> when me and Heidi was getting married, everybody said you couldn't keep a secret, so I thought, right. And they all were quizzing me what this party was for. Oh, I said it's just to get together. Not even no colour of eyes. <laughs> uh, I think they're grey, I'm not sure. They're either grey or blue, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I always had pet cats and rabbits and goats and everything like that. You name it, we had it. <laughs> it all depends where you put the ears and the tail on, on the animals, what they turn into. When I sit down to start painting, I just, whatever comes into my mind or if something I find a bit funny, the animals, if you look at them, they've all got expressions on their faces. And you usually can tell really what they're going to do if you watch them and you study animals a bit. You can tell by the eyes mainly. 
and the eyes give the expression of the face. Well, I was born at Crossway. My parents were farmers. It was an old cart track, which was a bit hard to get up. It's a quarter of a mile off the main road, and there used to be uh, a big tree on the corner. One year we had guinea fowl that uh, they sort of escaped, and that was it. They just run around the fields. You used to hear them, but you couldn't get near them. I was very fair skin. I used to suffer with sunburn. I had curly hair. I struggled all through the school life. Never liked any of it. Well, I was very shy and very nervous. The sister one I was very fond on, she left when I was about eight. And I seemed to lose a lot of my confidence. And I slowly got it back again. I'm a lot stronger personality now than I was then. When I uh, left school and started work, I bought a motorbike. That was freedom. When I got a bit older, we uh, got a car, so we used to go to Windermere dances and, and come back about two o'clock in the morning. It was nothing ever very serious, because usually you were too far away to sort of make a permanent relationship out of. I was uh, about 50 and uh, she was quite a bit younger. Coming back from Bradford, there was a big wagon going very slow. His car come the other way. That's all I remember. <laughs> I don't remember anything about the crash. I tried to fetch her around, but she had no chance. She must have died in hospital. I got on better with animals than I did with people. You always get a surprise if you're with nature. Animals are much more character to them. They're not uh, hiding anything. They just sort of get on with life and do what they feel like doing at the time. It's where they act and where they control the human, but the human doesn't realise the animal's controlling them. They think they're in control, but they're not. If a dog wants petting, it'll sort of look at you and maybe give you a little prod or a little nudge and then you start petting it because you can't help but do it. John! John!
No, I'm Peter. You alright? How are you doing? Ah, not too bad. What do you have to? Uh, a bit of meat. A bit of meat? A bit of lamb. A bit of lamb? Right. Oh. Right. 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 Right.